After this series is over, the word griefer will cease to exist. I'm about to show y'all how to get rid of every single griefer in GTA Online. In this video, I'm gonna show y'all the settings, vehicles, and buildings you need to fuck these griefers up. Welcome to basic training. The first thing we're about to go over is the settings. Yes, sir. So go ahead and turn on your Xbox, your PS4, PS5, whatever. I need y'all to follow along. Go to settings. Go to display. And now some of y'all probably already noticed, but go to graphics mode and switch that to performance. If you got it on fidelity or performance RT, nah, put that bitch on performance. Yes, sir. You get 4K 60 frames, bro. It's not laggy at all. The next thing you want to do is go to in-game depth of field effect and put that shit on off yes sir if you have it on everything that's on the dot will be focused in and everything around it will be focused out now when you have it off everything in the background is visible you can see the dude walking you can see your enemies clearer everything after you're done with display go ahead and head to cameras yes sir i play with the field of vision all the way up so i can see everything make sure your first person combat role is off this is what it looks like when it's on this is what it looks like when it's off you can see everything. You can see what the griefer is doing while you're rolling. The next thing you want to have off is the first person head bobbing. When you have it on, your whole screen shakes while you're running in first person. When you have it off, your head don't move at all. Stiff. The next thing that you actually want to have on is the first person, third person cover. This is what it looks like when it's off. And this is what it looks like when it's on so if you're in first person and you crouch behind cover you go into third person simple so now that you got the camera and the display figured out now it's time to look at my settings so the thing about settings is this it's different for everybody you might copy my shit but it might not work for you to get my settings basically i put everything all the way up and if something didn't feel right whether if it's the camera moving too fast or the scope moving too fast i turned it down until it felt good i play on standard for first person and third person i can't do that fps2 shit most of the quote unquote tryhards play on fps2 this is all my settings right here yes sir my first person and third person dead zones are all the way down before i got on gta bro i played call of duty every fucking day so i wanted this shit to feel like call of duty so i call this the call of duty settings no cap you can use this as a template and then tune it to your liking yes sir these settings bro they allow me to get crazy and accurate sniper shots Now that the settings are complete, I gotta give you the loadout. This loadout is mandatory. Okay, first off, you're not about to be doing drive-bys on griefers, bro. That shit is not gonna work. If you're with a friend, yeah, maybe. But if you by yourself, bro, cut it out. With that being said, these are the only things that should be in your pistol category. Heavy MK2 pistol with FMJ round. Keep the Glock with the switch if you about to do a drive-by with your friend. Use the flare to redirect missiles and the atomizer to knock somebody off the MK2. Or if you just want to get real disrespectful, you can atomize a griefer and then shoot him on the ground. Over in this category, the Combat MG MK2, bro. You're not going to use anything else but this, I promise you. In the AR category, the service carbine for more accuracy yes sir number two the carbine mk2 with fmj round you're gonna have to use this shit a lot shoots through any bulletproof window yes sir this is a requirement it's not up for debate for number three this should be the special carbine i don't know why the fuck i got this shit in there but yeah special carbine for the snipes the heavy mk2 yes sir this is not debatable you need the heavy barrel and the square muzzle also, you need E-rounds too. You don't really need the thermal scope because there's thermal goggles. I feel like I'm more accurate with the thermal scope, with or without the thermal. The next sniper, the Marksman MK2. Boy, the griefers love to use this shit here. Oh my fucking God. If they use it, you use it. Simple. For the shotguns, the assault shotgun, and the pump shotgun MK2 with E-rounds. Yes, sir. If you trying to make a motherfucker flip, oh yeah. For the next one, both of the RPGs, the bottle rockets, and the minigun. Bro, this shit is so slept on. It's crazy. And for the explosives just the sticky bomb so you can blow yourself up quicker and not switch to a different bomb while you're trying to do it remember folks the objective isn't to get the most kills on the griefer but if you do that's fine too most of these griefers care about score way too much so that's a bonus the objective is to get them off the streets yes sir so if you can make that motherfucker hide or leave the game oh yeah mission accomplished now that we're done with the settings and the loadout these are all the buildings that you need number one the office you need it so you can source your cargo it has a shit ton of garage space you can customize your loadout from here to make it exactly like how 
how I made it. Y'all most definitely need the money to buy all this shit that I'm telling y'all to get. You can only source cargo from the office in an invite only session. If y'all want to do it from the terabyte, you got to go public. And I don't think y'all want to do that. <laughs> Build the bread up, get the supplies, then go to the public session and fuck them griefers up. Yes, sir. And on top of that, there's new money methods every week. Like, bro. Y'all can y'all can do that. I'm not telling y'all to do that, but hey, be cautious. The next thing you need is an apartment. Yes, sir. Get the facility as well. Yes, sir. You don't need all these apartments, bro. You can just get one. Basically, you're using those two to get out of situations that are fucking ridiculous. If there's more than one griefer and they jump in your ass, oh yeah, you gotta use the heist to get the fuck up out of there. But you have to be in a CEO, which is why you need the once you join a ceo in about 10 minutes lester will send you both of these yes sir i'm pretty sure all of y'all know how to get it but for the people that don't this is how you get it and by the way it stays there permanently all you gotta do is get a random or get your friend and complete the first heist once you complete the first one you don't even gotta do no more heist bro lester will continuously send you that job invite telling you to start the next heist type shit just use that bitch to get back to the crib when you need it yes sir first time you do it you might check your phone and be like bro i ain't got it no more what the fuck going on. just walk outside and he'll send you that shit right back yes sir it's the same thing with the facility heist complete the first heist or i think the first like job setup type shit and you got that shit forever bro the only other thing y'all gotta know about if you're outside and you teleport to the facility you can teleport from the facility to your apartment but you can't teleport from the house to the facility hopefully that made sense the next thing y'all definitely need is the bunker this is where you go to get all the upgrades for your weapons and vehicles just hit that research button and everything everything you need to unlock is in here yes sir this shit is designed to make you spend a shit ton of money to get all the good shit if you're not trying to wait for the green bar to fill all the way up you're gonna have to spend 225000 for each of these. And it's randomized. So you might get the good shit early, or you might have to buy everything and get all the good shit late. Like, bro, like all this shit right here, this is the good shit that you need. The E rounds, the FMJ, all that shit. The next place you need is the agency. This is where you can customize all your Imani tech vehicles. Yes, sir. And on top of that, you get out of sight from Imani. You definitely need that shit. Next up, you need the arcade. Yes, sir. I'm all out of money! I'm already knowing. Chill, chill, chill. This is where you get the nano drone. Yes, sir. Next up, you need the nightclub for the terabyte and use it for the business battles, too. All them crates that be popping up on the map and y'all be going right past that shit. You can make millions off of that. You don't really need the hangar, but if you're better in the air than on ground, then get that shit. I almost forgot. You need the submarine, too. Yes, sir. And you need the arena war shop. Congratulations. Hey, if you made it this far, you are about to pass basic training yes sir now let's talk about the vehicles that you need you need the night shark not for running people over but to take missiles this can give you enough time to job teleport if you're just getting bombarded with missiles you need one of the amani tech vehicles with armored plating you need the oppressor mark ii yes sir you need the torador yes sir you need the rc bandito bro this shit will be your best friend you need a big arena war vehicle with the front scoop yes sir you need the scramjet the ruiner 2000 if you can afford it if not stick with the scramjet you need the terabyte to customize the oppressor and use the nano drone the submarine for the guided missiles and the sparrow the sparrow is a must have you need the laser you can literally steal that shit the anti-aircraft trailer yeah you need that one if you want to take out every single type of griefer oh yeah you gonna need all of this shit even if y'all have 50 percent of what i told y'all to get you can eliminate the majority of griefers out there but there's a small percentage of them that be doing the most weirdest shit yeah you gonna need everything to get rid of their ass so if you're handicapped in one area your friend or random in the lobby that's killing griefers too they they probably got some shit that you don't have it's all about teamwork yes sir in the next video we're doing tactical training be ready